Blessings, blessings, everybody. Praise God. It feels like it's been a while since I've seen you. I hope y'all are doing well. It's Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here with our monthly prophetic word, the prophetic word of the month. I'm so glad you're here. Let me know where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. And I want you to share this on your wall. Amen. I want you to share this on your wall. Let me know where you are watching from. Praise God. And uh, I want to give you some shout outs in a few seconds. Amen. Who's excited? Who's excited for the month of April? And uh, I know that a lot of people are talking about the fun that uh, Will Smith and Chris Rock, right? Just the drama that's going on right now. But let me know where you're watching from. And I want to give you some shout outs. Uh, who's ready for the month of April? Who's ready for the month of April? Amen. Praise God. Let me give some shout outs and then I want to share uh, about some upcoming events that's coming up. Diane Parker, blessings to you. Rachel, blessings to you. We miss you. Vicky, blessings to you. Child of Most High. Diane Parker, watching from Cape Town. Praise God. I got the zebra shirt in honor of the zebra that I got from Cape Town. Child of Most High. Kashika Anthony from Johannesburg. We got South Africans. Tom Karen. Juan Martinez, Texas Strong. AA says, I'm excited for a new season. Amen. As you should be. Amen. Cardiff, United Kingdom. We got the UK in the house from Nicole. Rebecca, blessings. Prophet Tati's blessings to you. You and I, we need to set up our clubhouse. We got to do that, Lord willing, this week. Praise the Prophet Ivana D. Cayetaneto. Blessings. Let me know where you're watching from. And I want you to share this on your wall. Tag somebody. Tag a friend. Tag a hater. Because uh, this word is going to go by quickly. Give me some hearts, likes. And do share this on your wall. And of course, uh, Marie Barba could sing you. <clears throat> and of course, just about one week ago, the Lord gave me a disturbing word, a disturbing vision. And I released that here on Facebook, social media. And uh, just incredible, the reach that the Lord has allowed it to go. Amen. But I want to talk to you today about the prophetic word for the month of April. I'm so excited. It's probably my favorite, one of my favorite months after uh my birthday month and after december and november i have a lot of favorite months but this is a very important month in the timeline in the calendar of heaven amen so i want to talk to you about this but first and foremost before i go into the word i want to share about some upcoming events that we have okay some upcoming events uh next monday evening i am doing a, a free webinar called Upgrade, someone say Upgrade, Upgrade Your Spiritual Intelligence. That's going to be next Monday evening. It's a free Zoom webinar, okay? It's a free Zoom webinar, and I want to invite you, but you have to go and register at benlandglobal.com. Uh, I believe our team will we're going to post a link uh, in the comment section of the chat group there. But uh, Upgrade Your Spiritual Intelligence. And register. It is a free Zoom webinar. And Mr. Wolf, did even have Of course, we have a big conference coming up local here. It's called the Apostolic, uh, Apostolic Voices uh, in the month of May. We have myself, Apostle Chasden Strickland, and Prophetess Jolene Whitaker. Okay, so I want you to register for that. Who here knows that God is raising up a new breed? Some say new breed. God is raising up a new breed of apostles and prophets, of fivefold ministers. This conference is going to be dynamic, life changing here in Orange County. I invite you. I want you to fly in, drive in, crawl in, uh, teleport in, translate it, whatever you need to do, get into glory. Because these conferences in person and online are really life changing. And let me tell you, uh, you can even be a part of the private online group and uh, join us and register on the link there. Amen. And of course, this coming week, I'm also going to be in Pennsylvania in the York, Mechanicsburg, Harrisburg area this Wednesday. And I will also be in New Jersey, right on the border of Philadelphia. Praise God. So I want to see you. We welcome you. Praise God. You can find all of our information by following the Benlin Public Facebook page or going online to our website, 
expand them global. Praise God. Well, let's give the Lord a clap. Amen. I want to talk to you about the April prophetic word of the month. I even believe I saw um, Leanne here from Hawaii. Aloha to you. Hallelujah. Aloha to you. Shakarabakarabra. Praise God. <clears throat> amen and amen. Well, I want to talk to you about the prophetic word of the month of April. Who's excited? Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for this word. I thank you that there will be no disruptions, deviations. God, we want to hear what God has to say. We want to hear what the prophets have to say. The prophetic word of the Lord. Lord, I thank you that you are taking us from glory to glory, week by week, month by month. You are upgrading us, bringing us up higher like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus and all of God's people say amen and amen. Of course, every month. Uh, the Lord has commissioned me. The Lord has spoken to me to give a prophetic word over every month. Uh, some people think that it's horoscope prayers or it's hor horoscope prophecies. I'm sorry, but the devil is a liar. Every season, God has a word. Every moment, God is speaking. And we need to be like the sons of Issachar that discern the times and the seasons and speak according to his rhema. Can I get an amen? And of course, the Bible, the word of God, the written word, uh, it will never be deviated. It will never uh, be finished. It will never be finalized. It is the final word of God. Amen. Uh, however, God is still speaking because the Bible says man will not live on bread alone, but by every word that is spoken. It, he is still speaking. God is still speaking. Can I get an amen? Thank God for his prophets. Thank God for his prophetic voices. And thank God that God still speaks intimately, personally with you, with me, with us. Because God is a personal and a relational God. Amen. So in the month of April, of course, as I always uh, expound this month, in the Hebrew, it is the month of Nisan. Someone say Nisan. Uh, I never knew that God was Japanese. I'm just kidding. However, God loves uh, to move in the Hebraic calendar. Did you know that God has a calendar? God has appointed times. In fact, these are called appointed times and seasons of God. If God has a calendar, God has a time in his calendar. I want to be aligned with that. Can I get an amen? And these appointed times in this month of April, this is the Hebrew month of Nisan. So I'm saying Nisan. Of course, in the Christian uh, um, Christian. Uh, Reformed faith, we celebrate Easter and we celebrate resurrection. Amen. I love the differentiation where many people celebrated Easter as Eshtarte. Uh, and of course, Easter uh, it comes from the Greek word or the Greek goddess called Eshtarte, which is a, a goddess of life and fertility and death. But the devil is a liar. We don't celebrate Easter or Easter bunnies, or Easter eggs. We celebrate the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. The grave cannot hold him down. Death cannot hold him down. The Bible says, death, where is your sting? Who here knows that Jesus rose from the grave? And that is the centrality of our Judeo-Christian faith. That is the central meaning, message of the good news of the gospel. It, so what? It's great if Jesus healed the sick, cast out devils, and he cleansed the lepers. But guess what? The greatest miracle is that you can be born again. And many of you watching right now, God wants to light a fire in your heart again. God wants to light a fire in your soul, in your spirit again. God wants you to be born again. Even the disciples, they rejoice. Oh, Jesus, look, demons were casted out. Demons were set free. But Jesus said, don't rejoice. Say rejoice. Don't rejoice that you cast out devils or that God used you on earth. Rejoice that your names are written in the book of life. And today my prayer for you is that your name, your family member's name, will be written in the book of life. That you will cross over, say cross over. You will pass over, say pass over. You will transition into the eternal realm of abundant life of glory. In Jesus' name, someone say amen. The word of God says that salvation cannot, is only found in one person, in one name. And that is the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Someone say hallelujah. All right. And I don't know why there's some lag or some disruption, but pray against this disruption on this feet today in the name of Jesus. Listen, I want to talk to you about this month of Nisan because this month of Nisan, this is a transitionary time. This is a time of transition. Who's ready for a transition? Transition is one of the charismatic's favorite words, shift and transition. 
Do you know why? Because we are spiritual beings. We are spiritual entities. And we're constantly moving forward from glory to glory. Amen. We're constantly evolving and we're constantly transforming in the glory and the power of Jesus Christ. So April is a big transitionary time because it's a time where you go from death to life. It's a time where you go from Egypt to the wilderness. It's a time where you go from bondage to freedom, slavery to liberation. It is a month. It is a time where you go from Pharaoh to being under the tabernacle of Jehovah. Who here knows that God is your God? Who here knows that God loves to set the captives free? Can I get an amen? But this month, someone say this month of April and Nisan, this month of April and Nisan, this is the month where God is going to cause you to pass over from death to life, from the grave to resurrection. Who's ready for resurrection? Come on, somebody. And the key verse for today that I want to go to is Exodus chapter 12, verse 35 to 36. Exodus 12, 35 to 36. And all of you watching, give us some hearts, likes, and do pray, and I want you to share this on your wall and tag somebody in the mighty name of Yeshua. Exodus 12, 35 to 36. The word of God says, furthermore, the Israelites acted on Moses' word and asked the Egyptians, come on somebody, for articles of silver and gold and for clothing. Three blessings here, silver, gold, and clothing. Silver, gold, and clothing. Silver in the Hebrew stands for redemption. Gold stands for perfection. And clothing stands for your glorification. Redemption, perfection, and justification or glorification. Come on, somebody. These are the three realms of salvation. Silver, gold, and clothing. Who here is ready for silver, redemption? Who here is ready for gold, perfection? Who here is ready for clothing, which is your new identity, which is the new robes of glory, robes of righteousness? Can I get an amen? And the Bible says, verse 36, and the Lord gave the people such favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Are you ready to gain favor in the sight of your enemies? Are you ready to gain so much favor in the sight of your haters that these haters, these enemies, these people who slandered you, backstabbed you, who said evil things behind your back, these fake friends, fake enemies, these fake haters, people on Facebook, are you ready for these people to bless you? God is about to give you great favor. Or someone say amen. That they granted their request. In this way, they plundered the Egyptians. Someone say plunder. My goodness, who's ready to plunder the enemies? This word in Hebrew, plunder. In Hebrew, it is not sal. Someone say not sal. This word plunder is not sal, which also means to strip which also means to deliver yourself, to snatch away. God is about to snatch it away from the hands of the devil. You are about to deliver. You are about to strip your enemies. You are about to snatch out from the hand of the enemies. Can I get an amen? The wealth of the wicked is coming to you, to the righteous. Can I get a hallelujah? That word not so, to be plundered, means that you're stripping, you're delivering, you're taking out from the hand of the devil. Who's ready to take the plunder, the riches, the gold, the silver, your identity back, your purity back, your security back, your favor? Who's ready to take th these things back from the hand of the devil? Can I get an amen? Someone say, not Saul. God is about to not Saul. But before they transition from Egypt into the wilderness, before they escaped, before the Red Sea was split in two, before they fully left Egypt, they had one thing to do. They had to plunder their enemy. Someone say plunder. Are you ready for plunder? Are you ready to be snatched out from the hands of your enemies? Every word curse, every Jezebel, every witchcraft spirit will be bound and God will deliver you and your family in this month of April, in this month of Nisan, in this time, you're about to leave Egypt. You're about to leave death. You're about to leave financial bondage. Every debt will be canceled in this month of April of Natsal. In the mighty name of Jesus, someone say amen, amen, and amen. And in this month of Nisan, this is the time where they became Israel. Because before that, when they were in Egypt, they were the Israelites. They were the Jewish people. They were just a people group. But you're going to go from people group 
to nation, people group to kingdom. Come on, somebody. The Bible says, can a nation be born in a day? We see that in the, in the prophecy of Isaiah. Can a nation be born in a day? And yes, we're going to see nations come to Jesus. We're going to see America come to Jesus Christ. Can a nation be born in a day? I want you to comment your country, comment your nation, South Africa, Uganda, uh, Belize, Botswana. I want you to comment your nation because this nation will be born again in the power of the gospel of the good news of Jesus Christ in a day. I said today. Someone said amen. So really, Jesus Yeshua, he, in this Passover, Pesach season, he is the Passover lamb. My goodness. He is the Passover lamb. The angel of death passed by him. The angel of death will pass by you. Every curse, every COVID-19, every virus, every demonic attack will pass by you because of the blood of the lamb, because of the lamb of God, Yeshua HaMashiach. And because of that purity, because of that holiness, because of that abundant life, because of that righteousness, you will rise again. Someone say, I will rise. My goodness, this month of Nisan, this is in the Hebrew calendar, it's the first month of spring. Are you ready to spring forward? Are you ready to leap forward? Are you ready to spring over all of your enemies? This month of Nisan, this is the born again month where they become Israel. My goodness, you thought you were in Egypt. Let me ask you, how long were you in Egypt for? How long were you in Egypt for? All right, the Bible says that the Jewish people, they were in Egypt for hundreds of years. I believe it was 400 plus years. But they were in Egypt for 400 years. And you've been waiting. You've been in bondage. You've been enslaved. And you've been wondering, when is God going to deliver us? This is the month. April Nisan, this is the month of your deliverance. This is the month where God is going to set you free. You've been waiting, now you're going to win. You're going to go from waiting to winning. You're going to go from being enslaved to being empowered. This is the month where God is going to cancel the 400 years of slavery, and you're going to be free. In the words of Moses, as, as Moses, the man of God, uttered, prophesied the word of God, let my people go. Someone say, let my family go. Let America go. Let my finances go. My health, my mind, my, my emotions. Let my people go. If you believe it, say amen. In this month of Nisan, it's a time of rebirthing. It's a time of renewal. It is spring season. It is time for you to pass over from death to life to leave Egypt. But remember, you need to plunder your enemies. Get ready for the plundering. Get ready for the payback. Get ready for the comeback. Get ready for the recompense. Come on, somebody. Someone pray in the Holy Ghost. Get ready for blessings. So in this month of April of Nisan, I want to talk to you. I want to prophesy over you three things that you can expect in this month of April. Are you ready for this? In this month of April, you can expect these three prophetic things to take place in your life. Can I get a hallelujah? Number one, get ready for new beginnings. This was a season where Jesus rose from the grave. Jesus defeated death. He defeated the grave. Death cannot hold you down. It was a new beginning. They left Egypt. The Israelites left Egypt. Come on, somebody. Who's ready for new beginnings? I said new beginnings, not old beginnings, not the same old, same old business as usual. New beginnings in Jesus' name. God is rolling up a red carpet before you. I see God setting up blessings for you. I see God setting up divine appointments for you. New strategies, new connections, new meetings, new circles. Get ready for new beginnings. And even as the Lord opens up new beginnings, that can also be connotated or Spoken as renewal. Someone say renewal. Who's ready for a renewal? Who's ready for a revival? Where every dead thing is coming to life. Someone say hallelujah. Number two, the second thing you can expect is birth things. Because this was the month where Jesus himself was born again. He was born into a new body. Yeshua himself, as he died, he went back to the womb. Come on, I want you to hear me now. When Jesus Yeshua went into the grave, who went down to the lowest place. 
He was in the grave for three days. That three days, Jesus plundered the enemy. That three days, Jesus plundered the keys of death and Hades, and he rose again. Come on, somebody. You went down below so that you could be raised up. You went down below to the lowest place with Jesus so that you could skyrocket. Are you ready for your comeback? Are you ready to skyrocket higher and above further than ever before? The Bible says Jesus went down. Come on, somebody. Oh, Holy Ghost. Jesus went down so that he could rise up. Are you ready to rise up? My goodness. And in this season, we're going to see new birthings. Even as Yeshua went down to the grave, it was like he was born again. He was recreated again. My goodness. Israel became born as a nation, as a kingdom. That's why, of course, there was the Ten Laws of Moses and there was the commandments. There was the Torah. That's when God's word came because you cannot have a government or a nation without law. Law and order. Someone say amen. My goodness. God is breaking off the Egyptian spirit. God is destroying every Pharaoh spirit. God is destroying every bondage, every yoke of Egypt. You are free. You are new creation. You are new being. In Jesus' name, someone say amen. And that word can also be connotated as resurrection. You're going to go from renewal and revival to resurrection. Who's ready for resurrection power? You thought the devil killed you. You thought the devil finished your life. You thought the devil put a curse on you. But the Bible says you will live and you will not die. Who's ready for resurrection power? Shout hallelujah if that's you. God has got to birth something new in you again. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to fast. It's time to travail in the name of Yeshua. And the third thing that you can expect in this month of April and Nisan, my goodness. And if you're with me today, say amen. If you're in the flow, if you're, my God, I feel the fire of God. If you receive this today, say hallelujah. Oh, Rabbi Karabrata, I declare and I decree in this month of April and Nisan, you're about to transition to a greater glory. You're about to transition. You're about to move out. Come on, somebody. I see some of you moving out of an old job. I see some of you moving out of your parents' home. You're moving out from a level of finances, from a level of minimum wage. You are moving out of a low level faith in Jesus' name. Someone say, I'm moving out. Someone say, I'm moving up and out. Woo, my goodness, someone say hallelujah. And the third thing you can expect in this month of Passover and crossover, of this transition from death to life, is blessings and breakthroughs, or otherwise recompense. In other words, recompense, excuse me. Blessings, breakthroughs, and recompense. Listen, I declare over you, June, get ready for blessings and breakthroughs. Amen. Becky, get ready for blessings and break. This month of April, Dolores, Prophet Zivara, Alana, Child of Mosai, get ready for recompense. The Bible says they plundered the enemies. God gave them great favor. Oh, Sharabranda. Who's ready for great favor? I see men and women of God calling you out. I see men and women of God prophesying into your spirit. I see doom and gloom of rejection and uh, not being accepted. The cold shoulder. God is about to turn things around. There's going to be recompense. Get ready for blessings and breakthroughs in your life. God is about to break through like never before. Zerabrakata. My goodness. It's called sevenfold recompense. It's called sevenfold payback. For the word of God says that when the enemy has is caught, he will have to pay you back. We are knows that even Pharaoh, his son, was killed. My goodness. When God does something, he does it with power and with vengeance. He does it with an exclamation point. God does something to make a point. Jesus, Jesus. Who's ready for blessings and breakthroughs? Who's ready for recompense? Even now, as we're about to transition, say transition into the month of April and Nisan, I believe this is the greatest month of deliverance. This is your greatest month of freedom. Every old habit, every pattern, every secret sin, every mind thought, mentality is being broken now in Jesus' name. 
I want you to lift up your hands because I feel the presence of God so strong right now. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost right now, wherever you're watching from. Come on, connect to this word. Connect to this grace. Even before we stretch into April and Nisan, God is setting you up. God is preparing you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Come on. Even though Pharaoh was resisting the release of the Israelites, even though Pharaoh was trying to be God, was trying to come in between, that's called the spirit of delay. That's called the spirit of witchcraft. Even though Pharaoh was trying to hold back the Israelites, God judged. God said, let my people go. And oh, the rubber band was held back, but it was released with a greater recompense. It was released for with a greater thrust. My goodness, every Pharaoh that is trying to hold you back will be demolished, will be judged. The spirit of delay will be finished. And God is about to thrust you out and thrust you forward like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus, come on, pray, 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 pray. That's freedom coming to you, to your family, to your mind, to your finances. I see angels begin to move around. You thought you would never leave. You thought you would never escape. You thought you would be stuck in this place forever. But God says, my son, my daughter, my child, I'm about to release renewal, resurrection power. I'm going to release revival and I'm going to release recompense. Oh, we'll get ready for the breakthrough. Lift up your hands to Jesus. Come on, pray, 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 pray. God is opening up realms for you right now. God is opening up portals for you right now. Come on, somebody. Who here knows that Moses had to keep his hands lifted up in prayer in order for the Red Sea to remain open. God is saying, it's going to close. But as long as you pray and fast and stay in faith, it's going to be remained open for millions of people to transition through. My goodness, get ready for the harvest. Get ready for the mega soul harvest. Jesus, Jesus. And I see in the spirit right now, God is snatching you out of the hand of the devil. God is snatching you out from the hand of the enemy. I see right now in the spirit, God is snatching you out. God is not solved. God is plundering. God is taking you out from the hand of the evil one. Jesus. The Lord snatches you out. He pulls you out. He delivers you away. He strips the enemy. My goodness. I declare right now, not Saul. Someone say, not Saul. N A T S A L. Not Saul. God is about to not solve your enemies. God's about to not solve. He's about to strip, come on, every armor, every barricade, every wall, everything that has been put up against you. God's about to strip and tear down. It's time for the taking. It's time for plunder. It's time to rush in. It's time to go in. It's time to overtake and recover all. Someone say, I receive my full recovery. Someone say, I receive my full recompense. Someone say, hallelujah. Say, hallelujah. Say, hallelujah. Say hallelujah. I want to prophesy over a few people right now, personally, individually, in the mighty name of Jesus. Billy Dyson, Sr., I see the Lord. His hand is over you, Billy Dyson. And God says, son, I'm about to snatch you out from this uncomfortable place. I'm going to take you out. I'm going to snatch you out. I'm going to bring you up and out from this place where you felt like you were struggling. I see a python spirit being broken off of your neck, being broken off of your life. God says over you, Billy Dyson. I'm going to snatch you out from this python spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Zerin Chia, my friend from Malaysia, I prophesy over you that God is about to break down every hindrance, jealousy, gossip, slandering spirits where people did not believe in you. But in this season, God says in the month of April and beyond, come on, April and beyond, get ready for my favor. You're about to have great favor in the sight of all. Different people that have secretly plotted and planned your demise and your downfall, they will be exposed. And God is about to set up a table before you and your enemies, Ms. Zerin. Chia, all the way in Malaysia, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
calling Tusa. Dan check. I see the fire of God. I see the hand of God over you. And God said, get ready for deliverance. Even in the last few days and weeks where you've been tormented with doubt, self-pity, you've been tormented by antagonizing spirits. God is saying to you, woman of God, I'm about to not sell. I'm about to deliver you. I'm about to break that yoke. I'm about to break that lie. Those lying spirits, those familiar spirits, I'm going to break that off of you in the name of Jesus and get ready for family healing. Get ready for family deliverance. Get ready for your family to experience the fire of the Holy Ghost. Someone say hallelujah. If you receive it, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prophet Tadius, I prophesy over you double double. I prophesy to you in this season. God has given you greater exposure. God has given you a greater platform. God is expanding your influence. I see angels of favor. I see angels of blessing. And even today, I bestow the favor of God that's on my life. I put that on you. God knows, Prophet Tadius, that you are not open. You are not uh, trying to knock on doors. You're not trying to get doors open for your life. You're not trying to be a man pleaser and keep kiss their behind so that things would happen for you. But God says because you've kept yourself hidden. God says because you denied self-promotion. God says because you've kept yourself hidden under the hand and the power of God in the cave of the prophet, in the cave of prayer. I'm going to raise you up and I'm going to give you greater exposure, expansion, and platforms of influence in this season, says God. I want you to say from April and beyond, I will be blessed. From Nissan and beyond, I will be favored. From this month and beyond, from resurrection, in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. I prophesy over you today. In this month of April and Nissan. This transitionary month, get ready for your greatest deliverance. Get ready for deliverance, freedom, my goodness. If you receive it, say amen. Renewal, recompense, revival, resurrection. Get ready for the Holy Ghost to give you new blessings, new beginnings, new birthings, new breakthroughs. If you receive it today, someone say hallelujah. In this month of April, Nissan, get ready for great deliverance. I want you to give the Lord a clap and a mighty shout of praise wherever you're watching from. Someone say hallelujah. Are you ready to spring forward? Are you ready to jump forward? Praise God. Are you ready to step into a new realm and a new season? Amen. Listen, I feel strongly. I want to open up a time for you to sow. I want to open up a time for you to sow into this word. If you receive it today, say, I receive it. Say, I grab it. I grab a hold of this. It's mine. It's my family's. This word is for me. I want to open up a time for you to sow. I feel so strongly right now that that we need to sow into the sevenfold. We need to sow into this recompense. We need to give. We need to prepare. Urabraka, my goodness, who you receives it. If you receive it, say amen. So we're going to give the uh, post the ways for you to give, for you to sow right there. And we're also going to post it right now on the screen. Hallelujah. And every single person that sows, I want you to write deliverance. I want you to write deliverance in the comment group. I want you to write deliverance, and I'm going to call out your name. Every single person who sows, who comes in agreement, and sows and blesses the work of God, the hand of God, as you come to agreement, and you sow, I want you to write deliverance, and I'm going to call you out by name. I want you to do it quickly. We're not going to take long here. We're going to just do it for the next minutes to minute and a half to two minutes right now. As you sow or as you make a pledge and agreement to sow, I want you to write deliverance quickly, quickly, quickly. And I will come into agreement and I will speak your name. Hallelujah. I will speak your name in agreement over the broadcast, over the airwaves in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Come on quickly, quickly. 
Robot, do not miss this open window. Do not miss this opportunity. Do not miss this time, this season to give and to be a blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And Allah Roska Rabranda de Roskata. Rabba, yes, 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 yes. Roboku Roboku Tora Branda de Roska. Rebecca, Maryland, God bless you. Shara Branda, AA, God bless you. Zerebra Tatara Branda de Roska Branda. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I want you to write deliverance as you sow in agreement and receive. Adele Best, God bless you. AA, oh, Avalon Liwan, God bless you. Susan Daniel Davidson, God bless you. Leanne, God bless you and your family. Aloha. Deliverance, 12th April, amen. Charlene Bosch, God bless you. Are you from South Africa? Alicia Kirsty, God bless you. Jason Graves, God bless you. My goodness. Come on, people of God, for another minute or so, I'm going to give that opportunity. Carolyn Ward, God bless you. Oh, Rabbi Rebecca and June, God bless you. Zerababa, if you sow a seed in faith, I need you to comment deliverance so that I can call you out by name. Billy Dyson Sr., God bless you. My goodness. Come on. Come on, people of God. Come on, church. Darley, God bless you. Chaz, God bless you. Message me after Chaz. We need to talk. Angela Campbell, God bless you. Oh, Rabbi Jason Graves, God bless you. Come on, somebody. God bless you, Rebecca. Dolly Peter, God bless you. Cree Cree. Oh, I love that name. Cree Cree Hargit, God bless you. Joanna, God bless you and your daughter and your family. Can I get a hallelujah? Robocora Blata Tere Blande. Come on, people of God. Carolyn, amen. God bless you. Double on you, Carolyn. Roboco Marjorie, God bless you. Come on, come on, come on. Just for another minute, Max, and then I'm going to shift here. Amanda, son, God bless you. Mama Heidi, son, God bless you. Adrian Pina, God bless you. I love you and I miss you, Adrian. Yes, Lord. Rabbi Jason Graves again, double double. Prophet Tadius, double double over you in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. If you receive this for the month of deliverance, April is a month of great deliverance. Hallelujah. Jovial justice, God bless you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Rebekera branda lulus karabra. Prophet Sivana, God bless you. Rebekera branda lulus karabra. Someone say hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. Someone say, hallelujah. Someone say I receive it. Praise God. Continue to comment below. Vicky, God bless you. Listen, if this word bless you, I want you to follow this page. Because I do go live often. Multiple times a week. Amen. So I want you to follow, like, subscribe to this page. Amen. And also, once again, announcements before I close. Next Monday, I am doing a free webinar called Upgrade Your Spiritual Intelligence. Next Monday, Upgrade Your Spiritual Intelligence. I want you to register. I'm going to talk about how to expand your spiritual intelligence, how to increase the gift of discernment, your awareness, how to move with the angels, how to be more effective in your walk, in your flow with the Lord and in the spiritual realms with the Holy Ghost. So I want to see that it is a free Zoom webinar, so go ahead and log in. And also, of course, our May conference, Apostolic Voices, myself, Prophetess Jolene Whitaker, and Apostle Chazden Strickland. It's going to be amazing. If, if you don't if you're not able to drive in and be a part of it from out of state or even out of country, uh, you can watch online and be a part of the private online community, the private online group. This conference will change your life for sure. And of course, this week, I'm going to be in Pennsylvania, York, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I'll be in Mechanicsburg area. And then right after uh, April 1st and 2nd, actually, I'll be right around the Pennsylvania, Philadelphia area. So go and see me. I'm going to be in Philadelphia area with Will Smith. I wonder if he's going to slap a, a, a Philly cheesesteak out of my hands. <laughs> but anyways, I love you guys. Bless you. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. And get ready for the month of Nisan April, which is your month of great deliverance. If you receive it, say amen. God bless you. Until next time, church. Thanks for following, for sharing, for liking, for being a friend, or even being a hater of Ben Lim. God bless you. Love you.